Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we'll go through the question keys and rooms. There are n rooms and you start in room 0. Each room has a distinct number 0 to n minus 1 and each room may have some keys to access the next room. Formally, each room i has a list of keys that is given in an array form rooms of i and each key is an integer in 0 to n minus 1 where n equal to rooms dot length or the length of this particular array that is given to us or the list that is given to us. A key room of i j is equal to v opens the room that is numbered v. Initially all the rooms start locked except for room 0. You can walk back and forth between rooms freely and you need to return true if and only if you can enter every room. So in the example 1 we can say that in room 0 we have the key to room 1 in room 1, we have the key to room 2. In room 2, we have key to room 3. So, we can go through each and every room which is 0 to 3 and so the output is true in this case. While, for example 2, you can see that from the room 0, you can either go to room 1 and 3. And in room 1, you have the key to either room 3, 0 or 1 and in room 3, you have the key to room 0. But, there is no way you can get the key for room 2 because that key is already placed in the room 2 and so we cannot enter that room and so we return false. So that's all about the problem statement. Now let's go ahead and look how we can solve this question. Let's take this example where we have these three rooms that we need to visit. So now first you will go and enter room 1. Now room 1 has the key for room 2. So what you do is you need to mark this room as visited and you will go to the room 2. While you go to the room 2, say you have these two keys, one is to the room 1 and second is to room 3. So since you have visited this room 1 or you already have the key to room 1, you would not need that key again. You can just take the key to this third room and go ahead. In the third room, say you have the key to room 1. So now do you need this key? No, because you already have the key to room 1. And so you just mark this as visited. and now all the rooms or all the list that was given to us is traversed and we would now need to check whether all the rooms have been visited or not. So with the ticks that are shown here, we can say that all the rooms that were there are already visited and so we can return true in this case. For example, if any of this tick was not there, then we could have returned false. So what do we need to do in this particular case? We would need a boolean array to mark whether a room is visited or not. So that would be of length rooms dot length or n. Secondly, we would need to recursively call a function that would collect all the keys that are being there in a room and would be going into the next room according to the condition of whether the room is visited or not visited. With these two things, we can actually solve this question. So let's go ahead and write some code for it. So the first thing that we are going to need is a boolean array. So let me take a class level variable so that we can access it everywhere. And the length of this visited array would be the length of the rooms that is given to us. And now since we were already having a key for room 0, we can mark that as visited. After this we'll just call dfs on our rooms and starting with the 0th index. Once this DFS function is complete, we'll check whether any of the room is still unvisited or not. So we'll check for each value in the boolean array and if this is not true, we return false. Otherwise, we can just return true. Now we need to just write the DFS function. So that would be so this is rooms and this is index. We are starting with index 0. So now as we know that at a particular index we would be having a list of integers we would need to iterate over each one of them. So let's write a for each loop. If this particular ith room is already visited that is, if visited of this i is already true, we do not need to do anything. But if this is not visited, in that case, 
we would need to mark it visited and apart from that we need to call DFS on rooms and on this ith room. So that's it let's just try to run this code and see whether it works and let's quickly resolve all the errors and it's giving a perfect result. Let's try to submit this and it got submitted. So the time complexity over here would be the number of rooms that we are going to visit. Since we are not visiting each and every room that was previously visited, we'll just say that the effective time complexity would be equal to number of rooms. But in worst case, we can say that it could go up to O of rooms plus the number of keys that we have. So this is the DFS way of doing this question. You can also do it iteratively by using a BFS method wherein you will be using a queue. The logic behind it remains the same that you need to mark the room as visited whenever you are taking that key and at the end you need to just iterate over this visited array to check whether any of the rooms is still not visited. So that's it for today guys. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. Till then, keep learning, keep coding.